How's it going, everybody? So I had a band reach out to me a little while back and ask me if I would check out one of their songs. And, you know, of course I said yes. I really don't know too terribly much about this band. Um, so I, I'm not quite sure where this is going to fall. Um, it might be kind of like on the border, you know, between uh, some of the genres we cover here and then maybe some we don't. So it, it might fall like kind of on the line based uh, on what I was looking at. So I was like, you know, let's let's give it a shot. You know, let, let's see what we got. The name of this band is Les Enfants de Dagon. And the name of this song is A Silent Pier. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I'm intrigued. I'm quite intrigued. And like I said, I, I try to check out anything if a, a band reaches out to me, unless I clearly can tell it, it's definitely not something suited for the channel. But this, it, it's a, it seems to be in a gray area. So, yeah, uh, let's uh, give it a go, shall we? Rangers, go.
very uh, interesting one there. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, there was several different elements to this thing. Like there was kind of like symphonic. There was doom. I would say there was death. Maybe a little bit of black uh, metal in there. So it, quite the array. But I would say. You know, if I had to pick, like, one that is the most prominent, I would probably go kind of, like, with Doom. It just kind of had that structure, that style, in a sense. But, you know, I, I feel like it was at its best when it was, like, the most Doomy, if you know what I mean. It, like, when it was, like, just really kind of, like, the, the piano and... Uh, the female vocals, oh, her voice is incredible, absolutely incredible. I, I love her operatic style. It kind of adds a, a, a neat kind of twist or, or uh, different kind of uh, vibe or, or feeling, you know, in uh, the Doom. Like, I, I do like Doom metal. Um, I'm not like a, a Doom metal purveyor or anything like that. Um, I... I don't listen to that genre a whole lot, but um, I do like it from time to time. But like I said, I'm, I'm no expert on the genre. But um, I don't know if I've really heard like kind of just a uh, th that kind of like female operatic vocals, like kind of in a doom metal sort of setting um, that maybe is like heavily uh, piano driven and you know some other things kind of added for flavor so that was really kind of cool and it really did add like kind of a, a dark somewhat oppressive feeling atmosphere and vibe and so you know I, I was kind of like this is kind of neat you know but then when it shifted and at first I was like all right cool you know let's get a little drum uh, you know kicking in here to get a little momentum you know maybe some uh, uh, guitars that, that sound like they're kind of coming from like beyond, you know, they're kind of scratchy or, or hazy, you know, uh, guitars, just a little bit to, to, to kind of add to this atmosphere. But I feel like everything kind of came in a little too hard and heavy. Um, and the whole vibe was lost because uh, it, it's, it remains doom, but I, I feel like it just got messy. You know, it, it just really kind of became a, a bit of a mess. I don't know if it was like just in the mix or whatnot, but it was like everything was almost like too prominent to where it was just a lot. It was kind of an overload on the senses. Um, like, you know, you had the dude with like the death growls and the guitar going, and it, it was just kind of like a standard thing. You know, the, the, the melody wasn't really anything special and... And the guitar was just kind of, you know, strumming along. Um, so, you know, it was like, all right, you know, they're kind of adding some some death in here with the, just, you know, a little bit of aggression with the, the guitar. So it was like, you know, we'll, we'll see where they go from there. But then they kind of threw everything in there. You know, you had the, the drums kind of blasting. You had the guitar blasting. You had the death guy going. And you had the, the female vocals going. And it was just like too much. It was just too much. Like I, I, I lost focus of like any sense of direction. Um, so that's that's my biggest critique is that in too many places it just lost direction. You know, it was just too much, um, and and nothing really took the the. You know, you need you need something at the wheel, you know, driving this bus or, or whatever. Um, and, you know, it was like everyone fighting for the steering wheel. And so the car was just, or bus was just swinging back and forth. And, you know, it, it wasn't just staying, you know, on the path that uh, it started on. Because at the beginning of the song, you know, it, it, there was a distinct path, you know, kind of for the song, a vibe, a feeling. But then it just kind of went in lots of different directions. And it just lost the mood, uh, in my opinion. So, you know, uh, that I mean, like I said, that's just my biggest critique. I, I feel like there was just too much in there in too many different directions that it is just an overload to the senses. And then you get where, uh, which could have been really cool, but you get like, uh, uh, you know, like a spoken word thing. I'm not sure if it was like a, a poem or like something like that, but you get the spoken word 
on top of everything else. And it's like, like, I, I kind of want to like hear what is being said, but there's like just too much going on. And so it just adds again to the turmoil. So, you know, that, that that's really it. I, I like the direction where the song was going at the start. And I think if it would have just focused more on that and not tried to throw too much in there, um, you know, maybe a little bit of the, the death growls in there. Not so prominent, though, but just a little bit to add the aggression, you know, the whole classic Beauty and the Beast kind of style. Um, and, you know, a little, like I said, a little bit of hazy guitars, but, like, keep the, the focus on, on, like, the piano and the female vocals and, and let that really kind of drive the direction of the song. You can maybe add a little bit of strings in there, you know, um, just to again with the mood this kind of doom gothic kind of feel um but it, it just went a little like too heavy and just kind of it, it just yeah just kind of spiraled there for me with, with too much um and uh so it, it just took me out of it but yeah it would have been cool i feel like if it stayed you know kind of like how it was in the beginning and then you get like a little bit that spoken word there at the end um it, it just yeah Anyway, that, that's my two cents on it. And uh, yeah, you know, the style, not, not really something um, typically for my channel, but every, every now and then, you know, if I get a band request and it's like, eh, I, I'm not quite sure. I'm always happy to check it out because uh, you never know what you find. But um, yeah, interesting band here. And I, I would be curious to hear some other stuff uh, from them. But um, yeah, because, you know, there's certain elements that I, that I do like um, that were present. But, anyhow, I, I think I've gone on long enough about my feelings about the song. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this one here. And I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.